baby Ray. We can't wait to meet you. Whether you're a little boy or a girl, we have no idea. I'm just excited to meet your mom and for you to have the best dad in the world. You are going to be an outstanding individual. How can you not be with parents like us, you know? I mean... <laughs> was in January of 2014. I felt like the Lord just called me to fast for a month about motherhood. Throughout that month, I kept hearing the word surrender. As the months continued on, my heart was more and more softened towards it. And then I saw Will's desire for a kid grow. She was right about to go out of town and... and... He's like, you have a big weekend ahead. Let's just go out and find out for peace of mind. And I was like, no, I, I'm i good. Like, I just don't want to take another test. I left that day to go to a conference during the day. It was on a Friday. That morning when I was getting dressed, it's like, oh, well, okay. I guess I'll just go ahead and take a pregnancy test. And so I took one and lo and behold, there was a positive sign. I, don't, I just remember getting like really hot and sweaty and being like, oh my gosh, like, is this real life? I will never forget, I hit my knees and I thank God for the life inside of me and I also couldn't believe it at all that I was by myself just crying and praying. And I just took a deep breath and was like, okay, this is it, I'm pregnant, cannot believe it. And I assembled a little gift for Will. Uh, he came home from the conference and I'll never forget giving him the little box that I had prepared. So I opened it up and it had a tiny little hat and uh, tiny little gloves and some socks. And then he literally goes, oh, and he like threw it on the table and just, he went, no, no. I'm definitely an oddball in that category to not find out the gender. And so we are gonna wait in anticipation until this little one's birthday. see how your heart has grown um, even beyond the, the enormous size it already was to uh, love our little one um, has been really incredible. I can't wait to see you and the little one when, you, when it can like interact and stuff like that. And most of all, you're just going to show, uh, show it the love of Jesus every day. And, everything that you do and so I'm excited to see that. From the moment that I told you I was pregnant, um, you've been so supportive and loving and so happy and just so strong when I haven't felt strong or haven't felt like myself. You're gonna be a strong dad. Not only will this one talk about you and how much he or she looks up to you and loves you, but all of its brothers and sisters will do the same and our grandchildren will do the same. Because you're just such a good man. important people in our lives yeah. but I'm excited to just have our lives changed by you by your arrival I should look down and say well, you're arrival because you're still in there <laughs> I think thinking about our baby like the fact that we can meet our baby today was just it was surreal it comes that day and you go into labor and it's almost like is this really happening nothing compared to the minute that she was born. The biggest challenge for me was seeing you in, in pain and having difficulty there. I remember I could hear your voice and you're coaching me and telling me to breathe. Um, I heard this other voice um, start to talk to me and, and the doctor was saying, look at me, look at me. And I finally opened my eyes and he 
said, reach down and grab your baby. And I was like, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's it. It's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, <laughs> and I reached down and Will reached up and helped me and we grabbed our baby and just delivered our baby right onto my chest and just burst into tears. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we made a kid! Oh my gosh! I remember just laughing so hard. Yeah, you were laughing. And, and uh, cry, like through tears. Yeah. Life since then, she's making us feel like great parents because she's sleeping well and eating well. So it's like, wow, we're actually doing okay here. It's totally different than what our life looked like before. Yeah. I think about just how much joy we have in our house now. Like we spend so long just staring at her and looking at her and laughing at her faces and like laughing at the little things she does. Changes your view of God and the gospel as well. She hasn't done anything to earn our love, but she has it forever. Just learning that you know, God's love is like that for us and that having a kid is one of those, those challenging things that, um, but it's so fulfilling and so rewarding. Thank you.